So I want to talk about the Naked Golem Walk, and it can be used at Town Hall 10, and even Town Hall 9 you see it too, but certainly Town Hall 10. What you're seeing these days is separate heroes, and what do I mean by that? Well, on bases like this, because most the top, or top clans are using Hounds in the CC to stop the 3 star from 10v10, unless that shifts, that meta shifts, you're going to start to, um, you want your queen to stay away from the CC. Because look what happens here. This is going to be a huge funnel. And honestly, the queen does have a lot of value up here to the north. And this is what I'm talking about. Great value up to the north. Amazing stuff indeed. However, um, once she gets into the core, her value just drops off astronomically she's not really going to get much she gets quite a bit at the beginning um, and then the bowlers and this king you look at this huge funnel here so got tons of value at first um, but since then not quite enough now because once the hound comes out even if um, um, the, the queen will lock onto the hound and once the queen locks onto the hound her value is pretty much over because see even with the, he did didn't have the, he didn't have the bowlers going to the core if he did have that it definitely would have uh, his chances for three star would have gone up but look the queen even with her ability cannot get through the pups plus the two expos it just takes up too much of her time and her value just plummets so this attack honestly he really did great stuff he had a great grand game plan it's just if the bowlers had went into the core he his three star chances would have gone up we'll speed it up just a little bit I don't want to just mainly talk about the golem, but amazing. Just imagine, imagine these expos down from the bowlers. Oh my goodness, a three star would have been close, or probably happened. Um, but anyways, as far as the golem walk goes, that's kind of what you can get. So let's look at a base and kind of see what kind of value you might get here. Um, so here's a base to look at and what could you do to kind of split the heroes. A queen can get a lot of value by herself. Where could you put a queen down? Well, you could put a queen down up to the north. You could, um, she could get down an air defense by herself and then bring in the golem and um, some bowlers with a king and have them push to the core, get another air defense and the queen down because the CC, if it's a hound, she won't do much, she won't do much work. But if she's separated, either you could separate her with a golem and um or giants and bowlers or golem and bowlers it just depends on kind of what kind of value you want out of the queen if you think she can get a lot of value you could bring a golem up here to the north with wall breakers in fact wall breakers would get her in and with her ability uh, you know after after the king portion is or at the same time again you want the cc to lock onto the king so if you did the king first and the golem um and queen after she could get all the, this expo down that archer tower if the funnel was there uh and maybe the if you you know if you did it right maybe that inferno tower but at least another expo so it just helps um your um air portion at that so here is a strategy of Town Hall 10 versus Town 11 Naked Golem Walk. Again, this sort of strategy is great value for the queen by herself. Now on this attack, coming in on an air defense side, look at here, coming in on an air defense side because baby dragons can't get over here and look at the value gonna happen here. The wizards didn't get quite as much as, I was, as we were hoping, helped out a little bit, lost one early on, but doesn't matter. Because the golem is tanking, a lot of times you can bring a max golem in there as well well, it just depends on what's in what you want in your CC if you want bowlers or not. However, but look at all these percentages this queen is getting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Would get nine. The wizard got nine. 10, 11, 12 structures down, I think it was. 12 down for that naked golem walk. So much value. You cannot get that, even with for 30 camp space, you can't get that with three baby dragons. It's just not gonna happen. Now on this space. There is not a hound in the CC, and because of that, you can actually push in with your queen. However, if, say, let's imagine there was a hound in the CC, what could be done? How could you get into this base? Well, you could actually bring a kill squad, say, from the southern end, because it is a little closer to the queen, and they would get an um, air defense. If you funneled right, you could get in with a jump. You could you could hop in. The kill squad could get that. And what could you do with your queen? Because you don't really you don't want your queen to lock onto the hound. The queen could actually come from the north. Look at here. If the queen came from the north, and you wouldn't even need. You could just bring. You wouldn't even need golems. Uh, a golem up there. You could bring like three giants. 
Uh, four to be safe, but three would definitely, because since he's a low level, three giants with some wall breakers, wall break in, and the queen would easily, or you could bring some bowler, one or two bowlers as well to help out. Um, she'd hop in, take down the inferno and an air defense with her ability. That's splitting up the heroes. So great value, because look at this. Look how easy it is to funnel her in and get her down here. Even if the, you had a wall breaker fail, she would at least still get quite a bit, but you definitely would want to bring enough wall breakers so she would get the air defense and the inferno. So much value for a split heroes. Just keep that in mind. That's what I'm talking about. If you can find a way to get um, use your queen um, away from the CC. Again, if they're rocking a hound or even a golem, golem will slow down the queen as well. Uh, so just bear that in mind. This time, bring it in together because if you see a CC that's not a hound or say it's witches and baby dragons, which is a very common one, you can bring the queen with your kill squad. And if that happens, see, look at that. The queen, the, the, the CC just doesn't have as much damage or it doesn't slow down the queen enough for her to um, for for it to matter. So it's fine to bring her in with the kill squad. So keep that in mind. Maybe you, maybe you already knew that. You probably did, or maybe you didn't. I don't know where you are in the game or not. I know my um, a lot of people who watch this are certainly. Um, I know a number of you um, know strategy already and are up to up to date on it. But in case you didn't, because look at this, look at how much value she she got. Took down quite a bit, and I think this one failed just because uh, the the air portion just wasn't quite there. A little mistakes here and there on funneling issues, but you know those things, those sort of things happen. This I think might have been a fresh hit on this base. I can't remember, um, or fresh ten after the town hall nine. I can't remember. So just a couple of mistakes, but it doesn't matter. Um, we're talking about that naked golem walk, and does it work at this level? Let's, so let's look at this base. It was three star by a town hall eleven, but what could a king? See, this is a, a perfect example of using. Um, a split heroes. Where would you bring your golem and bowlers? Well, you would have a kill squad up here to the north. You, will you get the queen down? I don't know. It would be it would be difficult to get the queen down. As long as the king locks onto the queen, you'll get her down. But look at the value you'll get with a rage and a bowlers up here. As long as the funnel happens, look at that. Coming up here to the north, taking it down if there's a hound in the CC. And then on this other side, you could bring in your queen. You could do a split heroes. Look at this. Now you could go heavy on the, the ground portion because these air defenses are easy to get to. I would actually probably drop a golem here. Drop a golem. You could bring bowlers to funnel or wizards or what have you. Somehow get the funnel, wall break in, the queen comes in, takes down both air defenses. Heck, she could probably get um, that expo down as well. At least gonna get both air defenses down. So in my book, I think it's definitely worth it to do that, um, to, to use that sort of strategy. And the rest of the base, you could, um, I guess, you could you know, just use, use the La Loom portion um, or maybe hogs, I don't know about hogs, but at least the La Loom portion uh, because all these air defenses would drop and you get a lot of value from the split heroes. So just think about that going forward. So here is another base. And again, because of the CC is actually not a hound, you're gonna have both heroes come into the core. However, if it was a hound, what you could easily do, and you get quite a bit of value is, you could bring your king and bowl. Just imagine the queen's not here. He still created the funnel with bowlers. You could add a wizard down there as well. And look, the king drops, the bo bo king, uh, the golem goes in, and then the bowler's behind with the queen. You have a jump there. The king will take down all this. Now he didn't bring he didn't bring bowlers in the CC. You definitely could have um, bowlers in the CC and use your queen over. Look over here to the west at nine o'clock. Just imagine her value, she would get an archer tower down and that critical air defense if you're bringing in the air portion. That could be a good location because it's a little easier than this three o'clock because you got storages. But just imagine the value there if the hound, because see the hound, the queen would not be doing well. She'd still be stuck on the hound and be able to take down, um, you know, you get two air defenses down. So again, another split hero strategy there for you. Again, not on this space because <laughs> the CC was witches 
and um, the baby dragon. Anyways, hopefully this kind of got you thinking about um, this. I, I want to try to give you some more um, attacks. I didn't have enough um, where you actually have 10v10s where the split heroes against a hound, um, but at least start thinking about this, trying to plan this out. Oh, I can actually do that, and yes, you can. It does work. I've seen it done. I, I know there's some other people who've mentioned that before, and um, so give it a go. Hopefully it'll help you out and getting those uh, um, three stars or two stars, but naked golem works or naked walk, naked, <laughs> naked golem walks. Man, I just trying to say that naked golem walks do work. Um, I call it that. Really, the theory behind it is having your queen get a lot more. Um, than she would otherwise, if that makes sense. But guys, thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Halo.